Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is about two early Ethernet technologies, ThickNet and ThinNet. ThickNet and ThinNet were introduced two years after the Ethernet was ratified IEEE LAN standards. ThickNet and ThinNet share some features. Both are bus topology networks. They use coaxial cables to connect hosts, and they use repeaters to extend their networks. They are baseband systems with the maximum speed of 10 megabits per second. ThickNet, also known as 10 base 5, became the Ethernet standards in 1985. 10 in 10 base 5 means the speed, 10 megabits per second. Base means a baseband system, and 5 refers to the maximum length of a coaxial cable, 500 meters. Up to 100 workstations can be connected to the cable using a vampire taps. A vampire tap, also called piercing tap, claps onto and bites into the cable just as a vampire bites into a person's neck and sucks his blood. The device allows new connections to be made on a cable while the cable is still in use. The RG8 yellow jacket cables with type N connectors are commonly used on the ThickNet networks. The ThickNet was replaced soon by a much cheaper and more convenient ten base two, the ThinNet, or cheaper net. The ThinNet uses a coaxial cables, but thinner than that of ThickNet. Two in ten base two means two hundred meters, the maximum distance between two hosts or repeaters. The coaxial cable RG58 is terminated with BNC connectors. Now let's look at the structure of a coaxial cable. The outer cover is a PVC or fire resistant plastic called a sith. The braided metal shielding reduces electromagnetic interference EMI. Underneath shielding is the PVC or Teflon insulator. The central metal core is the copper conductor. We rarely use coaxial cables on today's Ethernet networks, but we can still see them at home to deliver broadband cable internet service and cable TV. The RG6 coaxial cable with F-type connectors is commonly used.